So Escape from Tarkov is an unfinished and relatively unoptimized game in its current state, however there are a number of settings you can tweak to boost performance and get the most out of your setup in the meantime. We're going to go over several ways you can increase your frames and load times as well as how to uncap your FPS if you're using an Nvidia graphics card. If you have a non-Nvidia graphics card, don't worry, the rest of these settings will still help you out quite a bit. While I'm sure many of you are confident in your hardware setup, I do want to point out a couple things for those who might not be, and the first is that you definitely want EFT installed on a solid state drive m.2 or better as recommended by the developers this will dramatically decrease the time it takes you to load into raids as well as make things like the hideout trader menus and flea market all populate a lot faster you'll also want to have 16 gigabytes of ram or higher ideally at least ddr4 at 3200 megahertz and the reason for this is tarkov has a memory leak issue when the game is open for extended periods of time which is one of the major causes of stuttering in the game not to mention as we said earlier it's unoptimized and therefore it takes up more resources in certain areas than it hopefully will when we get a finished product. This game is also very CPU hungry, not to mention it's built on Unity, which is a single core favorable engine, so of course processors with higher clock speed will yield significantly better performance all around. For a graphics card, there are many out there that'll work well with this game, but you'll want one with a minimum of 6GB of VRAM to keep up. Again, the processor seems to be the most important part here between the two, but we also don't want a graphics card that's too slow and creating a bottleneck for your processor. Now for Nvidia users, there's a lot of control panel options you'll want to set up. If you don't have an Nvidia card, feel free to skip to the next timestamp in this video. Start by right clicking on the desktop and opening your Nvidia control panel, then click manage 3D settings from the top left menu. From here, we'll go to the program settings tab and select your escape from Tarkov EXE from this drop down menu. If you haven't done this before, or if you don't see escape from Tarkov showing up in the drop down, make sure the game is launched and it should pop up. If it's still not there, click add and locate it manually from the programs list. There are a few important settings here so feel free to follow along and pause or take screenshots as needed. The first thing we want to do is scroll down to power management mode and change this setting to prefer maximum performance. Then scroll down a bit further to texture filtering quality and set this to high performance and texture filtering trilinear optimization and turn this one on. For threaded optimization, make sure you have this on if you have a processor with hyper threading and off if you don't. If you're unsure, leave it on auto. Scroll down just a bit further and turn your vertical sync off, believe it or not, as this is the first step we'll be taking to uncapping your FPS a bit later. The next setting we want to change from the desktop is DPI scaling behavior. Locate your escape from Tarkov EXE. The fastest way to do this is to right click your launcher and open file location, then locate your Battlestate games folder. Once you locate your escape from Tarkov.exe, right click on it, making sure it's not the one that says BE at the end, which stands for Battlestate. I, just the regular .exe and click properties. From here, open up the compatibility tab and click change high DPI settings. At the bottom, check the box that says override high DPI scaling behavior and make sure that application is selected from the drop down menu. This will help eliminate any blurriness in game that comes from unoptimized DPI scaling and should not only make the game look a little cleaner in these instances, but also give a slight boost to performance as well. Down. Let's open the launcher now and click the settings option at the top. Make sure the when I close the launcher window drop down menu is set to exit the launcher and the when I launch the game is set to exit the launcher completely. This is just to eliminate one more small background process as you're playing the game that we just don't need open which should help performance a little bit. Once you have your launcher settings changed, go ahead and start up the game. From the main menu, click the options at the bottom right and go over to the game tab on the top left. If you have 8GB of RAM or less, I recommend turning the auto RAM cleaner on otherwise leave it off. Make sure the use only physical cores option is also off, especially if your CPU has multi-threading. However, if you're on an older processor, you may see a boost turning this option on. For reference, I'm using an i7-8700K which came out about three years ago and I get much better frames with this option off. As a curiosity, you may notice that I'm running at 59 FOV and the reason is because according to smarter people than me on Reddit, 59 vertical FOV is equivalent to 90 horizontal FOV. This essentially gives me more screen real estate to work with in RAID while avoiding those pesky accuracy and frame drop issues that have been known to come up at different field of view settings. 
Now let's head to the graphics tab and this is where everything will really start to come together. For screen resolution, you'll just want to set to what's native for your monitor, which in my case is 1920 by 1080. Now V-Sync is really important here and if you follow the previous steps with your Nvidia control panel and turn this off there, you'll actually want it on here. This is how you unlock your refresh rate. To verify you've done this correctly, you can open your Tarkov console by pressing the tilde key, typically in the top left of your keyboard underneath escape and type FPS space one all in lowercase, hit enter and tilde again to close the console. This will give you an in-game FPS counter. Now you'll notice down below that the lobby FPS limit is set to 60. When I have V-Sync unchecked, I get about 60 frames like I'm supposed to, but with this option unchecked, you can see the FPS limit is now uncapped. Now, of course, once in raid, we won't still be getting 250 to 300 FPS like we are right now in the lobby, but this setup will allow us to break the 120 game FPS limit that would otherwise be imposed by Tarkov down below. You can type FPS space zero in the console again to turn the FPS counter off at any time. For screen mode, full screen is going to yield the best overall results and I highly recommend it. For texture quality, I recommend leaving it on high as it doesn't hurt performance much and keeps the game from looking a bit like Minecraft. If you have a very low end graphics card, you can try high plus texture streaming, which will boost performance a bit, but will make the game look noticeably worse. For my setup, I always leave this on high. For shadows quality, you can usually get away with leaving this on medium for a minor FPS boost without the shadows looking too bad, but if you're on a higher end machine, setting it to high won't hurt you much at all and will look a little cleaner. The higher shadows option you choose, the higher you can adjust your shadows visibility slider. I like mine on about 75, but you can keep adjusting yours to your preference. Object LOD quality I have set to 2.5, but I'd actually recommend you leave yours on 2 for best performance. It's just that I've noticed a few items disappearing when I'm relatively close to them, as well as an issue with the 5.7 glow sights disappearing when I was set to 2. So increasing to 2.5 fixed this, but add a bit of a performance hit, so it's up to you. However, the lowest option here will give you the best FPS for this setting. For overall visibility, this again affects how quickly items and terrain pop up into your own field of view, and while the lowest setting here would again be best for FPS, I would recommend sliding yours up from 400 to 1000. This will avoid any strange scenarios where people may be taking cover behind a tipped over table or something that you can't see because it's not rendering in client side for you, so you think you're shooting them when you're actually hitting hard cover. You can go even higher if you want, but this will certainly have a large impact on FPS, especially on maps like Woods where you're basically asking the game to load in tons more trees that are far away and likely irrelevant to your current situation. For anti-aliasing, FXAA is going to give the best performance, but it looks pretty bad right now to be honest. I prefer TAA high for much cleaner edges and a lot less of that sort of flickering issue you can sometimes get with random walls and textures in game, and TAA is more or less your happy medium. If you have a higher end graphics card, you may actually get better frames by keeping settings like this on the higher end because again, Tarkov is a very CPU hungry game and you're basically pushing more of the workload over to your graphics card when you raise settings like this one. Resampling I would leave at 1x off. The super sampling looks a lot better, but it annihilates your FPS and really doesn't seem usable at this time. If you're really struggling for FPS, you can try lowering this a bit to 0.75, but again, this will make the game look a lot worse. Turn HBAO and SSR off. Anziotropic filtering should be off for best performance, but you can also set it to per texture if you want a sharper look at a slight hit to FPS. The sharpness slider does not affect your FPS. I just like mine on 0.9, but it's entirely up to your preference. We can ignore the FPS sliders if you've uncapped your frames in the NVIDIA settings earlier, however you'll want to leave these maxed out anyway. At the bottom, I highly recommend unchecking all options, especially high quality color as it lowers your FPS significantly. You could however leave Z Blur on if you'd like a bit of depth of field effect to the look of your gun at the cost of just 1 or 2 FPS at times, if that. For post FX, I actually play with these off as they do impact FPS, especially with the clarity, luma sharpen, and adaptive sharpen options. However, if you do like to use post FX, I highly recommend going into an offline raid, then opening this menu back up and clicking the visualize option that'll appear. I find it best to stand in a position where you're outside in daylight, but can also see into a dark room so you can see how your settings look in both scenarios, as sometimes brightening your game too much to help you see better indoors will make the sunlight look washed out terrible. You may notice though we are above the 120 client imposed FPS limit after going through these settings changes which is pretty cool. If you don't want to use post effects and would like the game a bit brighter or want a different look, you may want to mess with your brightness, saturation, and digital vibrance settings in your monitor options. 
Let me know in the comments how these changes affected your FPS and overall performance in game and don't forget to like and subscribe if this helped you out. If you'd like to ask me any questions during my live streams or just hang out, the link is in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.